Hi, this is Sapin Bharti. We are here at Open Suzy Conference in Nuremberg, Germany, and we have with us Vincent Vitzke. You are product manager at uh, Tuxedo. So, when you started working with the Open Suzy community, we started our partnership with Open Suzy mm -hmm. two years ago, and the company existed way longer. We are around for, I think, 14 years mm -hmm. now. It started out um, back in 2006 <laughs> as some Linux merch stuff, uh, stickers, shirts, mugs, etc. And more and more people came around and asked if we could uh, offer hardware pre-installed with Linux. And so it came step by step. It grew somewhat organically. And uh, nowadays it's uh, around 30 uh, people working at Tuxedo Computers and we have a variety of nearly 20 different laptops and quite a bunch of desktop PCs from very small to really big ones and all coming pre-installed with a Linux system. And what kind of engagement is there with the company? Uh, working directly with the community started out in 2017, so two years ago around, and it, it began in, in the times before the release of uh, Leap 15.0. Mostly, it's um, we, we have we are offering devices. Uh, the OpenSUSE Open community has a, a reference device offer, offered by us, and they're making the reference tests. And if, you know, now, for the recent release of 15.1, they made all their tests with the device, and so it's a crucial part of their development cycle. And. Um, the engagement is um, in other parts mostly sponsoring, like sponsoring Open Source Conference mm -hmm. like here, and uh, offering uh, the community guys uh, going to any events uh, devices by us for demoing Open Source on modern hardware. Who are your typical customers who are buying, you know, this Linux-powered uh, Tuxedo machines? I think it's um, half and half, uh, private users, classic end users, and the other half is business customers. So business includes uh, companies, but also universities and uh, like institutions, uh, governmental institutions. So that's half and half. Right. So w why should somebody buy you know, from Tuxedo instead of going with a big player? What, what advantage do they get by buying from you? Um, we're offering um, the pre-installation, so you get uh, your laptop like you're used to get a laptop with any proprietary uh, operating system with the same convenience. It's all uh, ready to run, all set up uh, off the factory. And furthermore, you get support by us. We have a dedicated support team for Linux uh, software side support. And around this, we have um, like a team dedicated to development, um, offering new developments, testing and uh, checking if everything is still working with new versions of kernels, drivers, etc. And um, you get um, warranty so the device works and you get two full years of warranty on the hardware parts, you get a lifetime support so as long as you have the device and it's technically working, you get you can call us, you can write us emails um, for software side support. When you look at you know the complete machine, you know, there are two components. One is software side and one is hardware side. Yeah. So of course the, the open source communities are taking care of the software side of innovation. On the hardware so side, how do you keep things exciting, you know, or new technologies in Britain? Talk about that a bit. Yeah, we we're, we're bringing. Um, we're trying to bring always the latest uh, hardware parts available for customers. So if there's a new CPU generation from Intel, we're trying to get it as soon as possible in our um, product line. Um, if there are new drivers from NVIDIA for NVIDIA graphics, uh, we're trying to get them as soon as possible to the customer. So that, that new and existing customers get the best experience of their modern hardware with Linux. So when we look at your hardware, you know, I mean, I'm assuming that you're not building everything here. Yeah, you know. so yeah, can you talk yeah. about the whole process, how it works? Yeah, we, we have uh, some ODM, so that's a, a vending company where we get uh, the chassis and the mainboard, and we can influx the 
the positioning of connectors, etc., but not everything. So we get the device, uh, bring it to Germany, and as soon as the customer orders in our online shop, he can select what parts he wants to build in. Then we start assembling it with all the components. RAM, uh, SSDs, whatever. Right. So. That's, that's the, the, the assembling part. And this is made in Germany. Um, we have our own factory in Germany where we um, vendor these parts, or the whole laptop. So you can pick and choose the best part in the market yeah. and which is suitable for your users. Yeah, we are always looking to, to open up the, the whole device more and more. So you have an, an, an open operating system. We're also trying to extend that um, to the hardware parts and the, the low-level software parts like BIOS and to, to one hugely uh, asked topic is like Core Boot, an open source BIOS alternative. That's one thing we really want to push and uh, try to support developers, uh, community projects to work on that topic. How many devices do you have? Uh, laptops, it's around 20 different models, from very slim and uh, low energy usage to really powerful machines with uh, space for four different uh, mass storage and with uh, NVIDIA graphics, RTX series, etc. So it's the whole, the whole bandwidth. Right. to say, and that's uh, in, rounded up with desktop PCs, very small ones, like Nook class, up to the regular towers. Mm -hmm. As compared to, you know, Windows machines or Mac machines, you know, since you're offering, you know, Linux system, what are the unique challenges that you face that Microsoft and Apple don't face? I think the huge challenge is, um, market share. So compared to other hardware vendors which are sticking with Windows, like Dell or Lenovo or whatever, we are relatively small. So we can't make that much pressure on development. We're trying our best and compared to other Linux hardware vendors, we are relatively big. So we have some influence, but of course not the one like big hardware right. vendors. That's a, a bit of a challenge. And that's the thing we are working on to, to, to make some, some buffer between the Linux user and the hardware vendors or driver vendors like NVIDIA. So we are trying to, to figure that out so the, the user gets the best experience at the best price. That was a pro okay. That was a challenge regarding market. What are the challenges regarding users? Because you know, with Microsoft, okay, this is one Windows, one platform. But do you feel any unique challenges from users? Somebody says, "Hey, I want Ubuntu." Somebody says, "I want R." Somebody saying, "I want," or not? Yeah, that's not really a challenge. We we are trying to communicate that to the users. We are pre-installing Ubuntu and OpenSUSE Leap, um, but generally speaking, every somewhat modern distribution will uh, run on our devices. But we have to communicate to the customer and the user that he is on his own when installing this. We're trying to do our best to help, but we have to focus on exactly. some distributions. You, you cannot yeah. make everybody happy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, Vincent, thank you so much for talking today. And I look forward to uh, seeing you know, the growth of the company and more Linux laptops often in the market. Thank you. Thank you for your time.